Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Flow Builder series. Today we are going to see how to add screen flow into the record page. So before we get started, let's have a look at the scenario that we are going to cover today. So if you guys remember in our last session, we saw how to create a screen flow, right? Opportunity creation screen flow, all right? So what I'm going to do now is I will be using the same screen flow and I will add the same screen flow to my account record page. Okay, so when I am on the account record page and I use the opportunity creation screen flow and when I create the opportunity, that opportunity should be linked to the account on which I am creating the opportunity from, all right? So let me just show you first what I want to do. So if I go to my, this is, this is my account record page. Okay. So let's say if I include my opportunity screen flow onto this page, right onto this record detail page. And when I create an opportunity from here, then that opportunity should pick the account as this one. Okay. So the account record ID has to get embedded into the opportunity opportunities account ID field. All right. So, um, let's go to the flow first. This is the flow that I have. All right. So let me open this. So if you guys remember onto this flow, I had created two screens and one last point of the flow to get completed was the record creation. So if I open the first screen, I have two fields here, opportunity name and close date. And the second screen was about opportunity stage, selection of opportunity stage. And at the last one, we were just like, you know, using the create record action, wherein we were mapping all the fields of opportunity to the variable or resources, whatever we have created on the flow, right? So I'll just remove this because um, I just did that for testing purpose. So I'll just show you what we had earlier. Okay. We only had opportunity name, closed it and stage name. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a resource so that I can get the current record ID of the account because I want this record ID on the opportunity screen flow. I want the opportunity screen flow to pick up this record ID so that when the opportunity get created, it should be linked to this particular account. All right. So let me go back to the flow and let's just go to resources. So again, this is something that is already created. I'll just remove this. Okay. So here, what you have to do is you have to create a new resource and resource type should be variable. And in the API name, as we are targeting to pick up the record ID of the current record page, right? So I have to give the name as record ID. If you give anything else, it will not work. Okay. So I am going to give it as record ID. If you are, so in short, again, right? I'm reiterating that if you are targeting to pick up the record ID of the current page, the resource variable that you would be creating, you have to give the API name as this record ID. All right. And the data type should be text. And you have to make it available for input. And let me just save this. Okay. So I have the resource now. Okay. Record ID. Now I'll just go and map it to the account ID field of opportunity. So I have a field called account ID on opportunity, which actually links the opportunity to the account. And I will just map it to the resource that I created because my resource record ID is going to give me the record ID of the current record from the detail page. All right. So and then done. Okay. So just two things we did. Okay. First, we created a resource, resource variable, and we have given the API name as record ID. We have made it available for input. And then in the create record action, we have mapped this record ID to whatever like, you know, value we had available for the account mapping, which is in this case is account ID because account ID is a field on opportunity that actually links your account to the opportunity. Right. And let me just save as let me give it as flow three. Okay. And I will activate this flow because I want to use it on the record page, right? So let me just activate this. Okay. Now we'll go to the account record page. We'll go to edit page and we'll include the flow on the page. So under your components section, you will see the flow option available over here, right? So all you have to do is you have to drag and drop. So I am just gonna click on it and just drop it over here. Okay. 
Now, as I have multiple flows in my system, right? Whatever I have created, if I show you the list of the flows that I have, those are like, you know, a lot of, a lot of flows are there. Okay. So if you have multiple flows, it is not going to select any flow by default. Okay. So as in this, in this case, it is uh, selecting another flow, but we know that like, you know, that which flow we want to include, right? Which is nothing but opportunity creation flow three. So I will just search for my flow over here. Okay. Once I have that, I also need to pass the record ID. Do not forget this step. Otherwise it will not work. Okay. So I have passed the record ID, current record ID, and I'll just click on save. Let's go back to the account. So here it is, right? Now, when I create this, like, you know, using this uh, flow, if I create the opportunity, that opportunity should be linked to this account, this particular account. So, um, you know, you can give whatever name you want. Uh, next. Now the opportunity will be created. And if I scroll down over here, which one did I create? I think any of these two, right? This one, I believe. Or let me just delete these and show you a new one. Okay. And let me give a proper name. And uh, close date. Next. All right. So this is the opportunity that I just created, right? So now if I navigate to this opportunity, all we did for record ID, right? So that this opportunity should show me account name as this one, right? Because this is where we created the opportunity from. So here it is, right? It is showing the account name from where we created the opportunity, right? So that is how it is picking up the record ID. All right. So basically all in all, we did just three things. We created another uh, variable resource for record ID. And then in the create record action, we mapped that record ID to the correct field, right? Correct uh, field wherein, uh, which actually like, you know, which is actually linking your opportunity to the account. And then on the record page, we included the flow and also we are passing the uh, record ID from the current page, that checkbox that comes like, you know, when you include the flow. So these just, just, just these three steps. All right. So this is how you can include your flow or like, you know, add your screen flow to your one of the record pages, or you can say detailed record page. All right. Uh, we'll see some other, uh, scenarios wherein, uh, like, you know, which in, which will basically include wherein all you can use your flow inside your, like, you know, org, let's say like, you know, if you want to include that in one of the action buttons, or if there are any, other ways or like, you know, places where you can use your flow. All right. Till then, uh, bye-bye. See you in the next session.